Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy Cooks the Great, aka CTG, and I'm back at you guys. Bro, get up. Yo, what's going on, my people? It's your big homie, Crooks the Great, aka CTG, and I'm back at you guys with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be addressing some of these tweets uh, that Proxus put out, put out about me last night, or early this morning, if you want to say. Now, for those of you guys that haven't been around, here's a little bit of a backstory as to why these tweets actually came about. Um, Proxus actually made a video about Treehouse, basically saying he was a cheeser, he was an exploiter, and he was exposing him. Now, I made a reaction video to that because I wanted to teach people that do have that style of play, that do cheese like that, how not to do it, how to set up and, and have a better setup to trying to grapple and stuff like that. And it was actually going to lead into a video that I was going to do. So I made a reaction video to that, which prompted him to make a reaction video himself yesterday. And in the reaction video, he included my name. He said, hey, Crooks, whatever he said, I can't say verbatim what it was. But he mentioned my name. So that prompted me to make a reaction video. And of course, when I made the reaction video, I reacted on everything. My part and the other part. And so he actually commented on the video. He actually commented on the video early. I dropped it at noon my time. Um, and he commented and he sat on the video and on his response all day long. He could have tweeted all night long. But he waited until the early morning hours of today to start tweeting at me. So let's go ahead and address some of these tweets. So the first one says, since you like to keep shit so real, explain to the people why you hit my phone and try to do a fake beef content. I get it. UFC 5 numbers is downhill for me too, but don't play the 50 and then try to play shit cool. All right. So the content that he's talking about wasn't a fake beef type content. It was more of a WWE storyline type content. Um, I was going to be bringing out an alter ego uh, that I was going to be introducing to my viewership. Um, that's what I was trying to do. That's what I was angling at doing with the storyline. But it was never going to be any fake beef type content. It wasn't. It wasn't going to be any fake beef type content. So what he's trying to say right here is just it's it's idiotic in a way, because that's not what I was doing. And Paroxys would have understood that if he knew what he was talking about. But I actually didn't get a chance to talk to him about doing the storyline. I tried to talk to, or I actually talked to JMMA, which is his teammate in Toon Squad. I talked to JMMA about it and I pitched to him, hey, you know what? I want to do a storyline to try to bring more viewership back to the UFC 5 community and try to get these numbers back up. So where he says UFC 5 numbers were down, I was trying to bring him up by creating a storyline. But it wasn't a fake beef type storyline. But Paroxys wouldn't know that because I never hit his phone. I never talked to him about it. JMMA pitched the idea to him from what JMMA told me. But I don't know exactly what JMMA said. And I was never going to do any fake beef type content. It was never going to be fake beef like, hey, we were going to... Uh, make these shenanigans up or like, hey, I fucking hate you. Kind of like what we're doing now with these tweets that he's putting out. There's never going to be any fake beef type content. It was going to be more of a WWE storyline type content. And the person who would know about that would be JMMA because I never talked to Proxys about it. So the next tweet that he put out said, you said you were going to do it with or without my approval. What happened? I put that alter ego content on the back burner because I wanted to start I got into more of a series of uh, my boxing series, how to box on UFC 5. And that was doing really well. So I kind of just ran with that for a little bit. Um, and then I, I was thinking of making different kinds of content like WWE content and football content and stuff like that. So I kind of put the alter ego on the back burner. And this is true. This is all true stuff. Uh, the person that could vouch for me obviously would be JMMA, but I know he's not going to vouch for me because he's Paroxys' teammate. But another person would be... Um, would be uh would actually be Proxis himself because I was actually gonna bring out the alter ego with Nas at the end of UFC four, but I decided against that because of the the negative stuff that he was putting out at the time. But another person would be Mellow Coffee. Mellow Coffee actually made uh made profile a profile picture for me and actually started cranking stuff up to introduce this alter ego 
to the channel. But I am going to bring this out at some point. <laughs> I am going to bring this out at some point. So kind of a, a killer for you guys is uh, you guys already know this is coming at some point. So it is what it is. But it's still there. I just haven't haven't tapped into it yet. All right, the next one is explain why you hit up Toon Squad members willing to leave Dark when Undisputed dropped because it was an opportunist move. Now, I actually was, I did actually talk to JMMA and Proxis about joining Toon Squad, but it was not because of Undisputed or trying to be an opportunist move. It wasn't. The reason why I was going to join Toon Squad is because my friends were in there. A lot of the people that I talked to, a lot of the people that I, I would... I would mess with and create content with were in there. I mean, you had JMMA, who's a really, really good friend of mine. Well, was a really, really good friend of mine. I had Prioxis, who was a good friend of mine as well. I'd known them for years. I had Darkseid, who had been an avid supporter of uh, of my channel. And I had Ozzy Kid, who was a regular viewer in my channel at the time. So a lot of the people that are in Toon Squad, I was cool with. So I was going to join Toon Squad. I was. But it was never on no opportunist type move because none of those guys outside of Proxus were bigger than me. JMMA now has a, 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 a has more of a following because of the content that he put out, which kudos to him. But none of them at the time were bigger than me. None of them had more subscribers than me. None of them. So how was that an opportunist move? I wasn't I wasn't looking to dive into Undisputed Heavy. I did undisputed content at the beginning because it was the move at the time. But it wasn't that I was trying to join Toon Squad for an opportunist move, bro. And Toon Squad literally undisputed died like a, a week or two after it came out. Nobody was really watching it. So, I mean, to say that I was I was doing it for an opportunist move, it's just not true, bro. And he acts like my my fellow members of dark wouldn't didn't know that couldn't kind of put that together that maybe I would have joined Toon Squad. I actually just talked to Romero this morning where he said like hey we kind of we kind of already knew we weren't stupid, bro. We weren't dumb. So if he's trying to drop breaking news on Dark, that's not even Dark's not even the camp name anymore. If he's trying to drop news on that, hey, I don't know what to tell you, bro. But all right, let's move to the next one. He says, explain why you called me to do a collab video and because you lost 2-0, you never uploaded the video. Are you hit my asked me for a spar in the Undisputed in Undisputed when it first dropped and because you won, you uploaded it? That's somebody that's keeping it real. All right, so for the collab that I did on UFC 4, it was an Israel Adesanya, Alex Pijeda fight and it actually went back and forth. I don't believe it was 2-0. I think it was he beat me 2-1. Um, and I was going to upload it, but I actually hit him up and told him, hey, you know what? My file got corrupted. My file got corrupted. And at the time, I didn't have a PC. I didn't have a PC to download the footage and be able to go over it. So the footage on my end was lost. I was cranking out content on um, on uh, the studio app on my PlayStation, which is where... A lot of my content came from before I got my PC. If you guys go back to UFC 4, a lot of the, the studio editing stuff was done on my PlayStation. That's why I couldn't stop and pause and break things down and run things in slow motion because I didn't have a PC that worked. So the only reason why I didn't post the video is because my file got corrupted. But he posted it up on his channel. So how would I say, like, trying to, basically he's trying to imply that I save face. How the hell did I save face, bro? You uploaded it on your channel. People were going to see it. More people were going to see it on your channel than they were on mine. So how was I trying to save face? And to to kind of expand on that a little bit, I posted a lot of series that I lost. A lot of fights that I lost in UFC 4. I posted a series with Zayef where I lost. I posted a video with Romero that I lost. I lost a GOAT 1099. I almost lost to Suave Jamie. Like I posted a lot of losses on UFC 4 on my channel. So why would I have to say face, bro? Why would I not want to post something? I've already posted my losses before. And if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, and if you're trying to make it that I want, didn't want to post a loss to you, bro, how many times did I beat you in UFC 4, dog? Who had a winning record over who? 
I beat you a lot more times than you beat me. I can tell you that. You know that. I know that. So why the hell would I have to save face? I knew I was better than you at UFC 4, bro. You knew that. When it came down to it, I was better than you. You knew that. A lot of people in the community knew that. Your subs probably wouldn't say that, but that's your subs. But a lot of the high-ranking elite level players would say that I was better than you, bro. But it is what it is. I wasn't trying to save face. My file got corrupted, bro. But if you, if you want to take it as if I was trying to hide that or something like that, that's on you. But then he said, you asked me for a spar on Undisputed when it first dropped and because you won, you uploaded it. Now, that is true. I did upload uh, a fight that we did do. He was on stream, I believe, at the time. He was Ryan Garcia and I was Jorge Linares. And if you guys want to see that fight, it's actually back. Um, it's on the channel still. You just have to go back a, a quite a ways to see it. But before I dropped that video, I actually called him and asked him, hey, you know what, Pry? Is it cool if I drop this, bro? Are you cool with it? He said, yeah, nah, bro. It's all good. I'm not tripping. It's just a spar. Literally what he said, verbatim, what he said, hey, you know what? It's just a spar, bro. If you want to, go ahead. So how was that me not keeping it a buck with you, bro? That's me keeping it 100 because I won the fight. I won the fight. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and ask him if it's cool for me to drop this, bro. If it, if he had said, no, nah, hey, bro, it ain't cool. It ain't cool for you to drop it, bro. It's a spar. All right, cool. I wouldn't have dropped it. I would have went and made another fight, gotten on another fight and did that. But now you're trying to say it as if I'm like trying to clout chase you when I asked you, hey, bro, is it cool if I do this spar? Because both of us are elite level players in UFC. We came over. We did a fight. I asked you, hey, is it cool if I post the spar? You said it was cool. And now you're trying to turn around and, and make it seem like I'm not being real. When you could have just said no when I asked you. But you're trying to say that I'm not keeping it real. Who's really keeping it real here, Pry? Who's really keeping it real, bro? If you said yes and then you're turning around and trying to get on somebody for you saying yes, you could have said no. But, you know, it is what, like you say, I digress. All right. And this last week, he said, after all that, I was still cool with Crooks because I wanted to see him win, even after motherfuckers told me to stop fucking with you. But once you started being weird, I cut you off. But because of you jumping in a situation that had nothing to do with you, I had to ask these questions. OK, so. He said at the beginning, he was still cool with me. He wanted to see me win even after motherfuckers told me to stop fucking with you. Now, I don't know who these motherfuckers are. <laughs> I don't know who these motherfuckers are. If you want to start naming names, bro, you want to start saying stuff, then all right. But I'll put out some names for you. I'll actually take you back quite a bit of ways, Proxis. When me and you first met, when we were being recruited to Vegas MMA, story time for your ass, because you don't know this. At, when I got into Vegas MMA and you did it, the reason why you didn't get in Vegas MMA is because Kinetic NRG didn't fuck with you, bro. He didn't like you. He didn't like your takes, which is okay. You know, hey, your takes were your takes, bro. I didn't have no problem with it. He didn't fuck with you. He didn't like you. Did that mean that I stopped fucking with you because he didn't fuck with you? Nah, bro. Nah. Nah, I didn't. I fucked with you because I developed a friendship with you and I didn't let somebody else's opinion of you skew mine. And I never once said, hey, I'm fucking with Pryoxys because uh, uh, I fuck with him. I, I want to see him win. Even if people stop telling me to fuck with him, I didn't give a shit, bro. I was going to fuck with you regardless. But now let's bring it back. You said once I started acting weird, let's let's take it back again to our fallout that we had. Because I addressed some of the negativity that you were popping off out of your mouth about UFC 5 before the game even dropped. You were You were literally going at other content creators, basically calling them shills. Right. Saying, hey, you know, they're paid. They're paid by EA. But you forget that you wanted to be one of the paid content creators by EA. Right. You wanted to be one of them, but because you weren't one of them, you decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to go at these guys, but we're not getting into that. That's not where I'm going with this. When the fallout happened between me and you, I posted a stream. I disagreed with you. And I hopped off. Right. Now, I hit up JMMA, who's a really close friend of yours, also a teammate of yours in Toon Squad. 
And I said, hey, what's going on with Pride? He said, hey, you know what? It came across as if you were attacking him, bro. It came off as, uh, across as if you were talking shit about him, bro. So I said, damn, my bad, bro. I didn't really mean it like that. So I hit your line, bro. And I remember it because I was at work on a Saturday. I hit you up. I called you. I said, hey, bro, look, I didn't mean it that way. I tried to squash it with you. I tried to squash it with you. I did the man thing, approached you, called you on the phone, talked to you about it. And what did you do? Instead of talking to me about it, you hung up on me, bro. You hung up on me. I didn't hang up on you. But I'm acting weird. When I'm just trying to clarify what my stance was in that video that I posted to you, bro. I tried to squash it because I realized that we're actually really good friends. Like, we were really good friends. We sat on the phone talking about life, talking about your daughters and my daughter at the time, talking about my me getting ready to have my first son, bro. Talking about life, talking about when I was going through my mental health issues, bro. Talking about what you were going through in life too, bro. Bouncing ideas off of each other for content. And I try to squash that. But I'm acting weird, bro. But I'm acting weird. Come on now. Come on now, bro. That's bullshit. And you know it's bullshit. But if you want to make it seem as if I was acting weird. All right, bro. That's on you. But let's jump into this last one. He said, because of me jumping in a situation that had nothing to do with me. Now, he's right. The situation initially didn't when he first posted the Treehouse video. I made a reaction video to that Treehouse video because I wanted people that, those are my subscribers that actually play like that, to understand that that is cheese. That is spam. And I broke down in my video, hey, you know what? You need to add more strikes onto it here. You need to, you need to do this in order for it not to be considered cheese or that you're just trying to spam grappling mechanics. And I said that in my video, and I was actually going to launch a video the day after that talking about how to grapple without being a cheeser. I was. So I kind of had the video leading into something. Now, my reaction to your video yesterday is because you brought up my name. You brought up my name, so I made a reaction video to it. And I didn't just react to the part that you said my name in. I reacted to everything, bro. Reacted to the whole video. And really, in that video, I wasn't crapping on you either. I just said that you needed to do better as a content creator and understand the platform that you had. And I even said we all as content creators need to do better. So I got on everybody's head. I even got on the, the UFC 5 community as well. We all need to do better. Not posting up content that's threatening people. That's saying they're going to kill people and do all this stuff like that. We all need to do better, bro. And I wasn't just jumping on your case. But you decided, hey, you know what? You wanted to take it offensively. And then... You brought me into the situation by mentioning my name in my in your video, bro. And then you're trying to say I jumped into a situation that had nothing to do with me, but yet you spoke my name. So when you speak my name, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it with you, bro. And I didn't even come at you. I didn't come at you reckless. I didn't say prize this, prize that, prize this. I respectfully stated my opinion. I answered a lot of the comments in that video yesterday as respectful as I could. I could have just shitted on you, bro. I could have came at you sideways, but I didn't. I did it in the most respectful way I could. Even when you posted your comment telling me that I was yapping yesterday on my video, somebody came at you personally, I told them to cut that shit out or I'm going to get them up out of here, bro. Out of respect. But yet, you know, I'm a piece of shit though, bro. I ain't keeping it 100. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with you, brother. I don't know if you're dealing with some shit outside. I wish you the best, bro. I really do. I hope you you eventually hit 500K doing all this. You, you're able to grind for your daughters and everything like that. Pro provide the life that you always wanted to provide for your kids, for your kids, bro. I wish no ill will towards you. I ain't going to send my community after you. I ain't going to make tweets about you, talking shit about you. Nothing. I wish you the best, dog. But this is the last time I'm going to be... Uh, this is the last time I'm ever going to... I'm ever going to... Uh, do a reaction video for you or to specifically address things that you come at me, bro. So if you want to have beef with me, it's going to be one sided because I don't give a shit about you, bro. I don't. You burnt that bridge with me, dude. Like it was cool. I tried to, hey, you know what? I just let shit go. Uh, you know, I let shit slide. Let it let bygones be bygones and just stay low. But now, you know, it is what it is, dog. It is what it is. I wish you the best, but I don't fuck with you. So. You know, what else can I say? But 
That's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. It'd be much appreciated. Um, and if it, this puts you guys in any kind of crunchy spot as to watching my content, our prize content, don't be that way. Still go and, and, and you know, still be subbed up to who you want to sub up to. Don't feel crunchy. It is what it is. You guys want to mention Pry in my streams and stuff like that? Do it, bro. I ain't got it. Like I said, the beef is one-sided. It ain't coming from me. It ain't coming from me. I just wanted to address these tweets because he's putting it out here with no context behind it. And, uh, you know, people are fucking just, oh, what fucking did this? What fucking did that? It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. But all right, my people. Make sure if you're new to the channel, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well. Slap that like button. It'd be much appreciated. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, more videos are not going to be made like this. This is the only time I'm ever going to address somebody talking like this to me, talking reckless. So we're going to move on. We're going to let this situation die and not fan the flames. But until the next time, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I'll see you all later on, though.